Happy bears. Hi. Careful, don't fall. Don't fall. Okay, so for this project, you're going to want to have something like a ruler to measure, some kind of clips or pins, some scissors, um, and something to write with, and your sewing machine. Um, you're also going to want to have, um, I'm going to use three different pieces of fabric. I'm going to use this for the bottom, this will be the top, and this is going to be um, the inside. So you don't have to have this. You could obviously just use either one of these. So you don't have to have three. This is a minky fabric. It's a little bit softer than fleece. It's actually a lot softer <laughs> than fleece. Um, but I had it left over and I think it would make a great inside for what I'm doing. So that's what I'm going to be doing. But you could just use all one color or you could use two colors. It's completely up to you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by cutting um, these two pieces of fabric the same size. I'm making my bed um, in a rectangle and we're gonna start with these two. So I'm gonna set this aside for a second and I'm gonna do it like this. I cut my fabric like this because it's, I think it's easier. Um, I take it and I open it up like this and hopefully they're around the same size and then I place them right sides together. That way when I cut, I have one cut and it's all the si same size and they line up later on. And you can tell it's right sides. The um, so with, with anti-pill, the wrong, the wrong side is duller than the right side. And that's the same with the solid colors as well. Um, so anyway, we have them right sides together. I'm just going to shake them out, get all the, any kind of bumps out. And we're going to measure it out. So I'm going to make my bed 18 by 16, I think. So what you want to do is you to create a, a line, and then I'm going to use that line to measure the rest. I'm not actually going to clip these together when I cut them because we have to do another step first. So I should have started down here. I don't know why I did that. I'm wasting fabric, but don't tell anybody. Okay, so now I should have this rectangle piece. And you can just, um, I'm going to take these, this, this I'm going to hold aside. And I'm going to fold this up for in a little bit. We're going to use this. Okay, so now we're going to get out our minky fabric. Now, word to the wise. This um, stuff is kind of will shed. It's got a mind of its own. It's a little, it's very slippery and it will shed. Now, here's what we want. We want this to be about the same size. So, um, I'm just going to line this up. I'm going to cheat here. You could measure this out. I'm going to kind of free wing it. Um, whatever. We can trim off any excess when we're done. All right. So what I want to do now is I want to cut the same size in my minky. You want to take the piece that's going to be your top and you're going to want to put it with the right sides facing down. So flip it over, right sides facing down. Now, you're going to want to take an edge and you're going to want to roll it back about an inch and pin that into place or clip it into place. So now we have a rolled edge like this and we're going to stitch all the way across. You're going to put your presser foot edge against here and then stitch all the way down. All right, so what you want to do is line your edge of your needle up with your presser foot like this. So I'm going to use this stitch on my machine. I can do that, and I'm just going to widen it so that it's a little wide so that it goes through the fabric hood. That's what I'm going to be using as a stitch, but you could just do a straight stitch, a zigzag, whichever you prefer. Um, and my stitching looks like this across the top just so that it looks cute um, but you don't have to do that you could just do a straight stitch so here's what we're going to do next okay so what you want to do next is i'm going to trim some of the excess of this off now to do this and not to make sure you don't cut your fabric 
if you take a pair of scissors and you just line up against your thread, you should be able to cut this off pretty easy um, without cutting the thread. Just go along the bottom like this. All right, so we want to also clip off anything that's hanging, like this piece right here. Okay, so here's what you got to do next. Take your cent your middle piece, lay it out, grab the piece that you just added your hem to, your seam to, put it, so you want, now here's how you want this. You want the wrong side of the top facing the right side of your center piece. So lay it just like this, line up the back part, um, and then what you're going to do, is you're going to pin this in place. Okay. So you should have something that looks like this. You're going to sew from here all the way around. So you're attaching your top piece to your center piece. Okay. So now you should have something that looks like this. So you're going to want to lay this out like this. And you're going to want to take your bottom piece. And you're going to want to put it right sides facing the right sides of your fish. And you're going to want to line it completely up. And then you're going to clip with the sides. So line it all the way to the top of this. to leave a six inch opening on the bottom. So you're gonna leave this open. Okay, so now you should have your top and your bottoms pinned right sides together. At the bottom of your bed, you're gonna wanna leave a six inch opening. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sew all the way, all the way around, except for right here. Don't sew right here. So leave six inches open at the bottom. So, all right, so what you should have now is something that looks like this. Make sure that it's closed on all the sides. If you want, you can trim off some of these excess pieces. Now you should have a hole in this end right here. You're gonna wanna flip it inside, flip it right side out. Now you should have something that looks like this. And you should have a hole in the back. Cut off these little threads right here, no worries. We're going to tuck that back up under in a second. Okay, so now you're going to want to get your poly batting and you're going to stuff inside. Make sure that you stuff um, in between right here. So, and you don't want to stuff it, you know, stuff it full. You want to stuff it full enough that it's, it's a bed and it's cushy. That looks pretty good. So now we need to roll this like this. And we're gonna need to stitch this closed. Now, if, for, if you wanna make it look pretty, you're probably gonna wanna stitch it by hand because um, if you stitch it with the machine, you're gonna see the stitches. So I'll show you guys how to do that. You're gonna wanna get a needle and thread and we're gonna blind stitch this shut. And how we do that, is we roll our seam up like this and we want to match it up to the edge of the bed. So I'm gonna put our little clips in these for now so that I can stitch this, um, have it in place while I'm stitching it. Okay, so now you should have an edge that looks like this, it's pinned. I pin mine because it's easier. What we're gonna do is take off your first pin, maybe even your second, depends. You're going to go in and you're going to find this opening right here. Okay. You're going to take your needle and your thread and you're going to go up underneath the lip. You're going to pull it through. Not all the way through. There should be a knot in there. Okay, there's my knot. So you don't need this much extra. You can either 
stuff it inside or you can cut it. It's up to you. Just make it go away. That'll work. So now we have this. You got your thread inside. And what you want to do is you want to take your needle and you don't want to go, you want to go kind of on the inner lip. So like right here. Okay. So you want to go through the first layer of fabric right here. And pull. Now I'm wrapped around my pillow, so. Okay. Now you want to come directly across on the blue side. So you want to come in and you want to make sure that your stitches are lining up across from each other. We're trying to create what's going to look like the rungs of a ladder. Now you're not going to see this because that's why this is called a blind stitch. Now my thread's being a jerk, so there we go. Once you get it started, it's pretty easy. Okay, so we're going to do this again. We're going to go up. We're going to go right into the first layer of fabric. On the, on the, we're going to call this coral on the coral pinky side. You don't want to make too big of stitches because you want it to stay. But I'm going to, for the sake of this video, I want to show you guys how this works. So now I'm going to go into the blue and I'm going to come right across from this, this stitch right across. That's where I should, it should end up. Okay, but see how these are like ladder rungs? And if you pull gently, your stitches hide. So let's do some more. Okay, so once you've stitched up the back, and you have it nice and stitched up and you can't even see the stitches, it's perfect, um, you have your bed. And then your little babies just climb on in there and they cuddle. And if you have ferrets or any other animal like a ferret, you know they love this. You can actually make these for kittens um, even dogs if you made it big enough and it's super cute. I don't have the cage liners in my ferrets cage. I'm going to try to make them today um, but I will put the ferrets in this and show you guys what they think. All right you guys this is the new cage liner set and I want to see if they like this bed. So here watch out mama open it okay careful don't fall. This is this is it. 